Hi everybody, welcome. In this month of April, I thought I would share with you a weekly update of my seed starting and the plan for the backyard garden and hopefully showing you at the end what comes to fruition, which will probably actually be more in May. But I um, just will give you a little bit of background if you're new to my channel. I am a gardener, I love gardening, I grew up gardening, but I would not say I'm experienced. I'm more of a novice seed starter and planner with gardening. Growing up, my mom, um, siblings, and myself would just go out and plant the garden and <laughs> we would call it that. We never had soil testing, we never planned out really where we were gonna plant it. We knew we needed to crop rotate because my dad's a farmer, so we'd do stuff like that. But this is the first year I've really took time to research and um, seed start. So hopefully if you're a novice or you're experienced, you can give some wisdom or if you're newer, like I said, that you can come along on this journey with me. But I'm just gonna share with you what I've started already, how things are looking and what seeds, what crops, um, what vegetables and flowers I plan to have. All right, so what I have started first, I ordered seeds oh, back in February. Um, some organic, some are non-organic. Some seeds I already had on hand, some I saved. And so I have my box organized in a bag. I did that one day in one of my home making videos actually that you saw. And so I just categorized them by <laughs> actually alphabetized and then when I need to plant them. So I first started with my seed starting with broccoli and cabbage. I planted that March 11th, and today is March 31 that I'm filming this. And they are um, about two inches tall, so I will put them in the ground when they're about four to six inches tall. And here in zone five in the Dakotas where I am at in South Dakota, we wanna wait till all signs of snow and frost are really kind of out of the way. So that seed tray is out at my husband's warehouse. It's a 36 cell seed tray and I made sure to have it covered initially. I just used plastic wrap because I didn't have a plastic covering like this one came with until the seeds came up and then I uncovered it and took it out to have full sun exposure in a south facing window. I do not have grow lights. I don't have a greenhouse and I don't know if that's anything I'll ever really invest in unless we really, really become avid gardeners um, and want to have enough for a lot, a lot, a lot of canning. So those were the first things I started. And then just beginning of last week, I planted some more herbs and tomatoes, peppers, and then some flowers for cut flowers, snapdragons I planted. And then just at the end of last week, I planted some Cosmos as well. So the pepper plants are not coming up. I had seeds from a couple years ago. And usually when you do that, you put at least two seeds in each cell. And it's still, they still haven't come up. My tomato plants, as you can see, are about an inch tall already. And snapdragons are really coming up. And snapdragons, the seeds are so minute. It's hard to, hard to put those in there. So I will have to end up pulling some of those out. Um, so actually with the broccoli and cabbage, I did pull out uh, each of each cell, all the plants except for one that seemed the strongest just to give it that full nourishment there. And then I made sure to keep my seed tray well watered with water in the bottom part of it. So anyways, then with these here, they are just in my laundry room, which I am in right now, laundry slash back porch. Like I said, nothing fancy, um, but it's something you can do in your own house. And so then with these, I will uncover this tray fully when everything is up. Uh, at the end of last week, I also planted some cucumbers and some watermelon and some pumpkins. And I know it's a little early for pumpkins. I usually just direct sow into the ground with those type of plants, but I wanted to kind of get a little head start on those just for fun, truly, because it'll be fun to have those early for decorating for videos and such. But I still plan to start some peas, snap peas in some pots. I have no more seed trays left, so I'm just gonna use some pots I saved from last year when you buy 
um, flowers to plant. And so I saved some of those that I'm going to plant some sna um, sugar snap peas in because I love those and love having those on hand. Um, but also, I'll just share with you what else I am going to be starting. Um, I didn't mention I do have some basil started here. And then I also have just a little thing of lettuce and spinach on the back. But I can plant those outside here probably about end of April. So what else I will be planting outside end of April, um, hopefully, are some potatoes and onions. Um, and get those directly into the ground. So I haven't bought those yet. And I've struggled with onions in the past, but we kind of reworked our whole backyard. We cut down seven trees, took down the fence because it was rotting and falling over. And so we still haven't really shifted everything in our backyard yet. So I'm truly hoping all this does happen before our baby comes end of May. So, you know, it's a high goal that I have to get all this in and I'm hoping it will no matter what the garden is gonna get in even if it means someone has to come over and help me after baby comes or before I have the baby so some other things I will direct so into the ground I have my list here um, probably beginning of May I'll do radishes turnips um, carrots and spinach and lettuce because those like more of the cooler temps and then of course i will put the broccoli and cabbage into the ground as well because they do like it cooler as well they don't like the high temperatures of the midsummer and then just some other things i plan to plant maybe i missed beets and that i'll also put beets and parsnips in the ground too so some other things i plan to have in my garden are squashes acorn and butternut and maybe spaghetti if I bought spaghetti. And then cucumbers, like I said, I already have started. Um, peppers, I might have to end up buying those. Our local greenhouse in our small town here will typically have those. So I can get peppers store-bought if I need to, to plant. Um, then I'll have green beans, zucchini, and some summer squashes. And I have more pumpkins as well. And then corn. And now corn, I will get seeds from my dad because he sells seed, um, being a farmer as well. So I'll get seeds from him because my last year's seeds were three years old of corn. I did not get as good of a crop as I was hoping. Um, but I do plan to have a decent sized garden, um, even if that means weeds happen to grow with having a newborn and a toddler. That's how it is. It's the stage of life I'm in. But I love gardening. I love the process of it. I love um learning about how to do this uh with seed starting i'll share that weekly here for you as i go about my process of um learning how to garden a little more and getting this all coming to fruition so anyways i hope this is informative for you and just kind of something fun for you to follow along with if you're a gardener if not i'll still do some of my homemaking videos throughout my other times of sharing videos twice a week on YouTube here for you. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and we'll talk with you in the next one. Bye.